this episode of my men's grooming series, I wanna go over the best daily and sports sunscreens for men. So I have my fiance Dorian here joining me because if you can't already tell by just his complexion alone, he has a very close relationship with sunscreen. <laughs> Pretty much like this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so before we really get into the best sunscreen products out there, let's just go over a few details, which are very important, I would say. First off, you wanna use anywhere between SPF 20 to 50 sunscreen. Anything over 50 has zero difference, basically. It's like so negligible that it doesn't make any difference whatsoever. Another really important point is that it's very important to use a broad- How, impor how important is this point? <laughs> how important? Doubly important to use a broad spectrum sunscreen, which blocks UVA and UVB sunscreen, right? Well, it blocks UVA and U UVB yeah. rays. Right. Yeah, yeah, right, <laughs> that sounds great. <laughs> Basically, sun rays work at different yeah. frequencies, so you want something that'll block both of the two types of frequencies because otherwise it'll pass through and then it'll cause cellular damage, which turns into sun sunburn on the, on the basic level and or sun damage and or turn cancerous. So it'll damage your skin, mm -hmm. even if you don't know it. All right, so that leads us to our product recommendation. No drum roll? <laughs> no yeah. drum roll. I thought you were going to drum roll with Really me. not that big of a deal. First up, the best daily moisturizer with sunscreen is Jack Black's Double Duty Moisturizer, which has SPF 20. This is something Dorian uses every single day, right? Yeah, it's my go-to. Um, it's really good. It is really cheap compared to a lot of alternatives. There are some other options out there that are a little pricier, but I actually don't think they're as good, ironically enough. This one, Keeps hitting all the points, broad spectrum, easy to go on, blends in nicely. It's not a physical blocker. We'll we'll talk about one of those in a minute that I also use. Um, but I think pound for pound for the price, no question, this is the go-to. And it comes in, you can buy a big tub yeah. of these too. And I buy it. It'll that. last you a long time. About a year mm -hmm. I'm on, and it's I've like slowly gotten down to the smaller one and like filled them up basically. So it'll last a good long while. And we have very sensitive skin, and for sensitive skin, it does not make you break out. So a lot of sunscreens can make you break out. This will not. And next up is this line interception power duo by La Paris. It's an incredible moisturizer with SPF 30 in it. And for the last six to eight months, we have been testing vigorously a bunch of sunscreens out there, and this came out above them all. I was actually really amazed at how good it was. Um, it, the beauty of it is two things. Um, it goes on perfectly matte, and it doesn't leave any shine like the Jack Black one. Um, it, it feels really good and it's designed to be a really heavy duty moisturizer. So if you're an older gentleman as well, I'm in my now getting into late 30s. So I realized that this was having a much better benefit as far as like fine lines and wrinkles and spots than the Jack Black one is. And it's actually a double pump. So on yeah. one side has a night cream, which we'll talk about, you'll yeah. get into more in the skincare routine thing. So you're getting two things for the price of one actually. So if you're gonna be outside for an extended period of time, then it's really really important that you use a more heavy duty sunscreen that you'll reapply throughout the day depending on how sweaty you get. So first up, a physical sun blocker that hands down is like, I feel like this is bomb proof, you are not gonna get burned, is this blue lizard sunscreen. So this one is SPF 30 and you, I know when we go on heavy duty, like if we're going sailing or outdoors for hours and hours, this is what you use. This thing head to toe, I actually, will be paler at the end of the day. <laughs> Only caveat with this one, Yeah. and you saw it as well in action. Yep. Although it works extremely well, it also leaves a bit of a white sheen. The face one, not so much. They toned it down a little bit, but in like the sport and body versions, you will look yeah, a little- Yeah, like a kind of a milky white <laughs> layer on you. <laughs> so, but that's the only thing. it is entirely worth it. I couldn't care less. I would rather look a little more pale during the day than completely lobster red at the yeah. end of the day. That is not fun. And on top of all of that, it's actually really affordable and it's gonna last you a long time. The next one up is by Supergoop. It's their everyday sun screen and it's SPF 50. And I know this is another one that you like when you wanna use more of a chemical blocker. It's really good, it goes in very smooth, very, it absorbs nicely into the skin, great protection. On top of that, this is a smaller one. They have like big jugs of it and it's very affordable as well. So if you don't like the physical blocker of the Blue Lizard and you want more of a chemical blocker, no question, this is the one to go with. And this is a great daily one as well since it does absorb. And another really good sports sunblock is by La Roche. So this one is SPF 60, but 
we both know that after you go past 50, not really gonna make a difference. No, it's not necessary, but it is really good. It's another chemical blocker, mm -hmm. um, so it blends in your skin really nicely. This one may be a little bit better than the Super Goop, but this, the advantage to this one, and the reason why I like it as well, is because it's fragrance-free, so if you're really sensitive to fragrances, this has none in it, mm -hmm. and it's just a really good everyday one um, for your whole body, head to toe kind of thing. I like it a lot as well. It's a toss up between the super group one, but if you're fr if you're sensitive to fragrances, definitely yes, this is the better exactly. one. Exactly. And they offer this in a spray version in yep. case you don't want to just apply it with your hands. You just but, spray it all over. But do yourself a favor, spray means spray and then rub in. It doesn't mean spray and leave it. I've seen like pictures online of like guys with patterns on their backs <laughs> of like snake sunblocked areas and stuff. It's a spray and rub in. So don't think you just hose yourself down and then you're done for the day. Dorian, thank you so much for lending your expertise and insight to sunscreen since it is so dear to your heart. Oh, well, I don't know about deer. It's more of a necessity at this point. Uh, I don't know, you know, being a lobster or wearing sunblock, it's a pretty easy choice.